For those who say we currently have a lawless administration right now, would you go that far? I regret to say that I think that's true. This is the most lawless administration in the history of the country. Hi, I'm Genevieve Wood, senior contributor at The Daily Signal, and I'm here in Founders Hall at the Heritage Foundation with a man who has spent much of his life upholding the principles of the document that is being photographed in the scene behind us here, the U.S. Constitution. General Meese, thank you for talking with us. Thank you. It's good to be with you here. What is the biggest threat to the U.S. Constitution today, in your view? The Constitution itself says that it is the primary responsibility of the President and his administration is to protect the Constitution and to make sure that the laws are faithfully enforced. And yet we have today the fact that uh, literally the Constitution is being overlooked, particularly the separation of powers, uh, the responsibility to make sure that the laws are passed by Congress and that its power uh, to make the laws on behalf of the people is not usurped by the executive branch. For those who say we currently have a lawless administration right now, would you go that far? I regret to say that I think that's true. Uh, even the news media, uh, which has been notoriously uh, favorable towards uh, this administration, has been picking up on that and have been pointing out things such as appointing uh, so-called recess appointments when there was no recess of the Senate. Uh, there are situations in which uh, administrative uh, agencies like the EPA have tried to get around the fact that Congress specifically turned down certain measures and they are then trying to uh, apply those measures uh, by regulation. Uh, the fact that uh, things such as the immigration laws, the welfare laws have been directly broken by this administration. All of those things I think contribute to the fact that this is the most lawless administration in the history of the country. Is Eric Holder doing his job? Is the Justice Department doing its job in making sure the Constitution is upheld and protected? Just looking at the Department as a whole, I think it is very unfortunate some of the things that have happened, some of the positions that have been taken, uh, which really do uh, violate the Constitution. For example, suing uh, jurisdictions uh, who have tried to prevent voter fraud uh, by uh, having statutes upheld by the Supreme Court, by the way, uh, which require voter identification, the same kind of identification you need to get on an airplane or cash a check or uh, for most things uh, in business or any place else. Those are the kinds of things that make it very serious in terms of what the department is doing at the present time and whether they are in fact uh, upholding that portion of the Constitution. Many people have asked this question, what can Congress do, what can others do to, to checkmate the president, if you will, and make sure that he's not getting out of what the Constitution grants him as the executive in charge? The greatest protection of the Constitution itself is, of course, for the leaders of the country, particularly now in this case the Congress, to take its action. But they'll take its action, I believe, in Congress only when they understand that the people are behind them. And that's why it's important, I believe, that the people uh, as well as law professors, as well as lawyers, as well as citizens all over the country. Uh, look at the Constitution, read the Constitution, understand what the Constitution says, and then demand that Congress particularly, their representatives, take the actions that are necessary in order to enforce that Constitution and to stand up for their duties and their responsibilities under the Constitution. Well, of course, one of the best ways that people can learn about it is that they can get the Heritage Guide to the Constitution, which is a project that you oversaw for a number of years here at Heritage, which really takes the Constitution page by page, article by article, amendment by amendment, and explains what the original intent was. Yes, uh, that's the, that was, of course, the, the purpose of Heritage's uh, actions in bringing together uh, well over a hundred major scholars all over the country to write this Heritage Guide to the Constitution so in ordinary language that people would understand, uh, people can read about the Constitution, understand what it says, understand the Supreme Court decisions that have interpreted it, and really have the kind of knowledge to make the demands of their representatives that they do their part so that we can enjoy the constitutional republic that we have enjoyed for over two centuries. General Mace, thank you very much. I want to make sure that those watching us here know that they can get a copy of the Heritage Guide to the Constitution and they can learn a lot more about what's happening today that threatens the U.S. Constitution and what they can do to preserve it by being a part of Heritage's Preserve the Constitution series. <music>